Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the singles readings for the next seven days, okay? So we're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for singles uh, asking about love, okay? So we're going to start with air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What do we got for the next seven days? Singles, completely single. Completely single air signs. What do we got? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. <laughs> I should have just called that one. Uh, well, brand new start, right? A passionate start of some sort. Now, this could be a renewed passion within yourself. So, because this is passion. This is the wand of passion. Um, it's exciting. It's an exciting time, obviously. It is. You may have this new spark for somebody. Maybe you got this new desire. Maybe you just got this new ambition. This is a new vision as well. Maybe you got this new idea. Who knows? Maybe you decided to broaden your horizons. Maybe you're going down a new path. That's so that right there is a new beginning, a passionate new beginning. Now, that could go many different directions, but it's pretty uh, bright, whatever it is. <laughs> That's funny. I just was noticing the smoke when I started to laugh. I was looking at the smoke. Ooh, look at that. First card. You're it. You're the pick. You're the pick. It's hot. It's hot. You're looking hot. If you are the male watching, this is a female. I don't care what the other readers say. You guys all know that I don't give a shit. This is a female. Um, the woman that you're dealing with, she is the pick and she has many options. The female in this reading has many options, okay? She knows her worth. She's beautiful inside and out. Period. So, yeah. Mmm. Ooh. The yikes. Things may be a little chaotic right now. Things may be a little chaotic. Things may be a little upside down in your life. You may be grieving over something. Maybe you're not really communicating with anybody. Maybe you're healing. Maybe you're going through some sort of uh, uh, renewal of some sort. Maybe you're going through some sort of rebirth. Maybe that passion is within you. Maybe you're finding this new drive within yourself. Maybe you're working on your health. Something is going on here. And I think it's, I think this is, that's funny because I, I felt like this was something, I didn't feel like this was a new partner. I mean, it could be a new partner, but I feel like this is within yourself. I think somebody's got this new vision, this new desire, this new ambition, and this is like the birth of a new life. Hmm. Ooh. Mm. It could be, uh really working on your coin or maybe you have another person that is interested in you that can take really really good care of you huh. interesting we have Taurus again you know you guys get Taurus a lot this is Taurus this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn this is Libra and I already said Taurus Virgo Capricorn <clears throat> there's some kind of sadness here perhaps there's no communication coming through right now but you're working on yourself i see a lot of self-worth a lot of self-love you know spiritual renewal you guys are going through some sort of rebirth right here so i think that's what this is it's like a renewed life force perhaps Ooh. Something exciting is happening. Something exciting is coming. 
Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Wow, changes are on the horizon. Changes are coming. Believe it. I think they're already happening. I think that... Don't give up. It's coming. Whatever. Something is coming. It takes time to get your miracle. So you guys may be waiting for somebody to communicate or waiting for somebody to offer you something and it hasn't happened yet and your problem, maybe your patience is wearing thin or something like that, but it's coming. There's a delay. There is a delay and I think there's a delay, but you're handling it very, very, very well. Um, I feel like perhaps there is there could be some some memories of the past that could be keeping you stuck you know maybe you're 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 thinking about the past because it's a thought you somebody is thinking about the past quite a bit they are they're thinking about their they're still grieving over the past going back and forth back and forth back and forth with whether i want to go back to the past or not you know that's what's going on here it feels like somebody has probably Lost an opportunity. You got to see what's mirroring each other. Somebody has lost an opportunity with the past. Okay. They have. They have. And they have somebody that's better suited for them. And they may be just beginning to come to terms with that. Okay. I feel like um, there's a message that is going to come eventually, but... I think it's from somebody different. I don't think it's from this person. I don't think it's from the, the one that's not communicating. I don't. I don't. I think this is somebody new that's better suited for you. It is. It is. So I think this is a this is a, a, a positive uh, new suitor or a positive new person is going to come into your life. You guys remember I said you guys see it's mirroring each other. But there's a delay. There's a delay, and I think that there's a delay for some of you because some of you are still thinking about the past. You're still, you know, perhaps you're waiting for communication with for somebody from the past, and maybe you're struggling. Maybe you're still grieving, you know. It's like you're still going back and forth with the past, okay? But the past opportunity is gone. It's a lost opportunity it's time to drop it. And I know a lot of you guys don't want to hear that, but that is exactly what this is. I feel like we have somebody here that probably has a better suitor for them that is, you know, the universe is waiting to bring in, but you have, there's, there's, there's a period of time. You mean, you think about the emperor, she gives birth. It takes time to give birth. You don't just get pregnant and give birth. You have to go through that gestational period okay so it's a waiting period okay it is a waiting period so right now you guys are going through a waiting period but you are you're going through a period of growth because this is growth as well you are there's gonna come a time when you're going to get that blessing there is you are going to get that blessing but i feel like right now you're struggling you are struggling you are. You're still grieving. You may be sad over something. You may be thinking about the past too much. And when you do that, you're telling the universe that perhaps you're not ready. Now, this card is, is about thinking positive and moving forward um, on a new adventure. So you you got to be able to, you know, love yourself enough to love yourself unconditionally enough to, to say, you know what, I'm worth more than no communication. Okay, so I feel like there's somebody at the at the end of this struggle, because this is at the end, this is at the end. There's somebody at the end of this struggle that is going to come into your life with something stable, solid, secure, long-term, a really big offer. But there is definitely a delay. There is definitely definitely a delay. Now, this person is very practical. This person is a really hard worker. This person that is, is coming in, um, is very responsible to the point where you don't, 
want him to rush anyway. To get the stable opportunity, this is, this is the most practical option. You know, you need to wait. You need to wait. You Unfortunately, it's a waiting game at this point. It is a waiting game. If you are the male watching this, I feel like you are probably working on your job. You're working on your business. You're working on your money. You're working on climbing up that ladder. You're really focused on your finances at this time. This could be for the female as well because the Empress rules both love and abundance, okay? So I feel like there's a big focus on money right now. There is. in in health as well, because I think that health is a big deal. I think there's a focus on health. There's a focus on renewal. Um, there's a focus on um, self-worth, money, uh, finances. I don't think that I see anybody here really... getting any new stable offers. I don't. I don't. Because there's a delay in getting the stable offer. There is a delay. There is a delay. And I think that there's a delay because somebody is still in denial about the past for some of you. You know, some of you are... Maybe you, some of you may be being dishonest with yourself about the past. Maybe you're not seeing something clearly about the past. You know, I, I mean, I, I know a lot of you don't want to hear that, but I'm telling you right now that somebody has lost an opportunity with the past and they're really struggling and grieving when they really just need to, to drop it, okay? Just, just, just drop it, just drop it, just drop it, okay? Because you have somebody that's better suited for you if you could realize and remember what you're worth, okay? So this, this this period of time that you're going through, you are going through a period of healing. You are going through a period of rebirth. But I don't feel like, you know, there's any stable offer coming in this week. Because I feel like you're you're going through a period of growth. You're, you're relighting the fire within yourself. You're working on your attractiveness. I think that right now you're really focused on you. That's what I think this is. I really do. I think that somebody has found, you know, this inner drive to really focus on me. You know, that kind of energy. You know, I'm going to be the best that I can be, you know. Yeah, yeah. Somebody is not allowing there's un, not allowing themselves the closure that they need from the past refusing to step over that finish line not seeing something clearly you have to take that step over the finish line you have to you have to put that foot down and take that step over the finish line you have to you know somebody has been um going back and forth Back and forth, back and forth, looking at the past, looking at the past, looking at the past, looking at the past. A lot of stalking energy going on. And you guys are going to play. go, no, no, they're doing that to me. And this is, this is your reading. I think that you guys are stuck. You're stuck in a phase, in a chapter, because you keep looking back at an opportunity that has already been lost. It's time to come out of this. It's time to come out of this, this period of... Holding on, whatever it is. Some of you have been <laughs> holding on for too long. Okay, you've been holding on for too long to the point where it's time to just drop it. It's, I'm sorry, but I mean, you take a look at, I mean, their hands are going to be bleeding soon. Somebody has been holding on too long to a chapter that is over it's time to let it go it's time so I feel like the next seven days is a, is a time of relighting that fire within yourself 
remembering what you are worth, loving yourself unconditionally, and going through this rebirth. Being practical, being responsible. Really finding, like, I see this, like, newfound excitement for a new adventure. It's like, you know that it's time. You know that it's time for you to receive. You do. You do. But the only thing that you got to do now is let go of the past. Let go of the past, please. Let go of the past. Even if you don't get the closure, even if you don't get the communication that you wanted, stop looking back because you're losing another opportunity. Two more cards. Is there new love? Is there any new love coming in this week for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, singles? New self-love. <laughs> That's what I just heard. A new you. You. That's, I mean, that's what I see with this card. A new you. A new you. Whatever that means. I said two cards, but we're going to get three. Letting go of the worry. Letting go of the guilt. Letting go of the pain. Letting go of the power struggle. Let go. It's out of your control. You have somebody that is better suited for you, but this person is delayed from coming in because somebody keeps looking at the past. And I don't know who this reading is for. And that means you're like stalking, physically looking. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're looking on their social media. Maybe you're looking for them on the road. I don't know. Trying to control a situation that is already gone. It's already gone. You have to take back your power. And somebody hasn't. Somebody hasn't. They haven't. They've given their power away. Given their power away to the past. To the past. Remember who you are, okay? Remember who you are. You're a beautiful person. You're a beautiful individual. You deserve. You don't have to chase opportunities. The Empress doesn't chase, okay? She doesn't. Opportunities chase her. Know your worth. And this new opportunity will come. There's a delay. It's not coming this week that I can see. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and tell you that it is. Like, whatever. That's bullshit. There ain't no new opportunities coming in this week. There ain't. Sorry to tell you. Nope. There may be sex. You, you may have sex with somebody. That could happen. But as far as it leading to anything stable, solid, secure, nope. Mm-mm. That ain't going to happen. This is a week of rebirth. It is. Working on your abundance, okay? Working on your abundance. Working on your stability. Working on your security. Being practical. Being responsible. It's also a week of letting go of the past. Because you're worth it. You're worth that big golden opportunity. That will last. But that's not going to happen until you stop holding on to something that hurts. You gotta let it go. You have to. Good luck.